The next question in this applied science section is the two waves with a very little difference in the frequencies overlap on one another to produce. The right answer is option 3 that is beats. So what is this beats in acoustic? A beat is an interference pattern between the two sounds of slightly different frequencies. So that is a simple definition of beats. The next question is the acceleration of a particle executing the simple harmonic motion is directly proportional to its. The right answer is option 1. So they are directly proportional to its displacement from its the mean position. So the acceleration of a particle particle executing the simple harmonic motion is directly proportional to its displacement from its mean position. The next question is in the expression for a velocity of a sound in air v will be equals to root of gamma p divided by rho. The notation gamma is equals to the right answer is option 4 that is cp divided by cv. So what is this cp and cv these are the heat capacities at constant pressure as well as constant volume. So gamma will be equals to cp divided by cv. The next question is the velocity of a sound in the outer space is the right answer is option 3 that is 0. So the outer space means vacuum condition. The speed of a sound in vacuum is 0 meter per second. So sound cannot travel in a vacuum or in a outer space. So then the velocity of sound in a outer space will be 0. The next question is the string of length 1 meter and a mass 0 0.04 kilogram vibrates with a fundamental frequency of 100 hertz then the tension in the string is the right answer is option 2 so that is 1600 newton so the tension in the string will be 1600 newton and the next question is the nodes and antinodes are characteristics of the right answer is option 1 that is stationary wave so what is this stationary wave a stationary wave is a wave which oscillates in a time but whose peak amplitude profile does not move in a space. So that is a stationary wave and it is also known as standing waves. So the next question is the natural frequency of a string does not vary with the right answer is option 2 that is applied force. So the natural frequency of a string does not vary with a applied force. So what is this natural frequency? So it is a frequency at which system tends to oscillate in the absence of any driving or damping force. So it is also known as Eigen frequency. So as it is clearly given in the definition of natural frequency, the natural frequency of an string does not depends on the applied force. The next question is the electromagnetic radiation used in the forensic department to study the fingerprints is the right answer is option 1 that is ultraviolet rays that is UV rays. So the UV rays are used in a uh, forensic department to study the fingerprints. The next question is the type of light used in the study of holography is the right answer is option 2 that is laser light. So what is this holography? A uh, holography or hologram in a physics is a record of interference pattern which uses the diffraction to reproduce the three dimensional light field. So the study of that three dimensional light field is a holography and in that one the laser light is used. The next question is which technology is used to develop the sunscreen lotion and the cosmetics? The right answer is option 2 that is nanotechnology. So what is this nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a manipulation of matter on an atomic or a molecular or super molecular scale. So that is a nanotechnology. The next question is the process of separating the information signal from the carrier wave at a receiver is known as the right answer is option 4 that is demodulation. So the process of Separating the signals from the carrier wave to receiver at receiver end is done by demodulation. The next question is the optical fiber is used in the right answer is 
option one that is pressure sensors so the optical fiber is a flexible transparent fiber made up of drawing a glass or plastic to the diameter of slightly thicker than the human hair these are very smaller in diameter and these are used in a pressure sensors and these optical fibers are have a major application in the telecommunication industries the next question is a mass of copper deposited on a cathode of in a copper voltmeter by a current of 2 ampere in 30 minutes is the right answer is option 3 that is 1.08 grams so that much of copper will be deposited on a cathode when i supply amount of 2 ampere current for a 30 minutes and the next question is the process of coating a zinc over the iron or a steel is known as the right answer is option 1 that is galvanizing so galvanizing is a corrosion protection process in which the steel or iron is coated with an zinc to prevent the rusting and the next question is the sofc is a type of the right answer is option 3 that is fuel cell so sofc stands for solid oxide fuel cell it is an electrochemical conversion device that produces the electricity directly from oxidizing a fuel so the sofc stands for solid oxide fuel cell so it is a fuel cell and the next question is a magnesium is an alloy made by the combination of aluminium and the right answer is option 4 that is magnesium so the magnesium is a alloy which is a combination of aluminium and magnesium the next question is the zinc carbon battery is an example of the right answer is option 3 that is primary battery a zinc carbon battery is a dry cell battery that delivers about 1.5 volts of direct current from the electrochemical reaction between the zinc and the manganese dioxide so that is a primary battery means once it is used so it cannot be reused or we cannot recharge these batteries the next question is which of the following is not a polymer the right answer is option 3 that is glass the polymers are the substances or a material consisting of a large molecules or macro molecules composed of many repeating sub units the example for polymers are nylon teflon pvc polythene whereas glass is a hard brittle substance typically transparent made by fusing a sand with soda and a lime so the glass is not a polymer the next question is ceramic is which type of material the right answer is option 1 that is composite material a ceramic is an a solid material comprising of an inorganic compound of a metal or a metalloid and non metals with ionic or covalent bonds and then and the last question in this applied science section is the ph value of a distilled water is the right answer is option 2 that is 7 so what is this ph value ph is in a measure of an any water based solution that gives how much acidic or basic is a solution is the range of ph goes from 0 to 14 the acidic solutions have lower ph values whereas basic solution have a higher ph value so the distilled water have a ph value of 